very uh, good afternoon uh, good morning my dear student uh, so today uh, we will going to discuss about uh, the different uh, part of your data type and debugging okay so how to do the data type and debugging uh, let us uh, start uh, this uh, particular thing how to do the data type and debugging now in this particular case uh, what you will going to find is that uh, there are uh, the different uh, types of computer programming language okay you have a different pattern of a computer programming language as you have a different pattern of a computer programming language those the language what you can find that are uh, supported by the data okay so various uh, patterns of data are there so those the various patterns of data what are there those the various types of data what are there they are uh, operating in a different ways isn't it they are operating in a different way and as they are operating in a different ways those the operation what we find uh, what we see that each and every operation of it has uh, got some certain pattern of uh, work okay so there are the different type of expressions are there there are the fundamental uh, patterns of there so each and every fundamental patterns of the data they are uh, having uh, uh, different type of support support of what support of the data types so as you are having the data types those the particular uh, pattern of the data types what we find uh, that it will going to have it will going to have those expressions uh, those the fundamental pattern of data types what uh, we find it uh, that python has got a different type of data types so data type specification what we see that uh, we have a different uh, specified data values and uh, those the data value are uh, been stored there is a type function is used okay uh, for this uh, particular data type that we have what we are using and where we are working on it so uh, as we are finding that that we have a different uh, data types are there what are the basic data type that we find a python uh, will going to have first we have a number then we have a string then we have a boolean then we have a list then we have a tuple then we have a set uh, then we have a dictionary so all these thing what is there all this part what is there uh, that are there in this particular structure and in this particular frame okay so in this particular structure and in this particular uh, frame that we find it uh, thus those the different uh, data type what is there those the different uh, type of data pattern uh, that we are having isn't it so each of them has got it own specification that how they will work how they will going to have their structure how they will going to make the structure etc etc so all these data type what we find all these data series what we find uh, that uh, there are the uh, sectional different uh, type of implementations that we can find uh, the particular uh, data will be isn't it those the different types of uh, implementation that we find that what the data are and how the data will going to work so each and every uh, part uh, that we find it uh, that uh, how the data will going to work and how the data will going to make its output clear so uh, this is the particular thing this is the particular data type and data structure what we are having and how we are making them uh, that will going to have their own different uh, pattern of data types and we are making those data structures isn't it so uh, when we are having uh, the different type of data types what are the data type we do have we have a uh, mutable and immutable data type mutable data type means a data type uh, that can uh, change its states or uh, content and uh, immutable that cannot change mutable uh, data type means that can change its content like list dictionary set uh, byte array all these thing what it has it uh, this is the data type that can uh, change okay that can be change its states or content that means you have seen it, uh, you will see that sometime uh, list has getting uh, sometimes suppose a number uh, of the, those who has passed or a dictionary you can see it that are different type of dictionary we will going to create isn't it so those the things what we can find it that they are a mutable data type we are having and those the mutable data type what we are having we are uh, organizing that mutable data type and we are working with that mutable data type 
okay so uh, this is the data type what we find this is the data type what we see that each and every uh, pattern of the mutable data type and uh, those the particular thing what we see uh, that is an uh, work that you will going to have a uh, different types of immutable uh, data type immutable data type like integer float complex string okay tuple frozen uh, set so uh, these are the uh, immutable uh, data sets and bytes that means suppose uh, mutable means suppose if i write x equals to 10 okay uh, that is what uh, to check the id of the methods uh, print id x what is the id id is 20 that means uh, print id of x uh, in uh, id of the both the statement uh, will be an integer value and that will be there isn't it so this is what you can see this is what you can find that you will going to have uh, this particular pattern of the data type and you are uh, you can able to work on this particular structure of the data type isn't it so this is what you can see this is what you can find that when you are having uh, those uh, uh, different uh, data type pattern different uh, different part of data type pattern uh, that uh, uh, those the structures uh, can be created and you can make those data type and you can work with the data type okay so as you are working on this particular data type as you are finding those data types are there each and every data type what we can find it that uh, the data type is what there is a uh, different types of uh, data implementations are there and we can have the different types of data uh, that will going to work isn't it so this is what you can see this is what you can find that when you are working on this particular area when you are making on this particular area so each of this particular area that you are working with uh, that you are making with you are having uh, those particular pattern of data type and you are working on this particular data type yeah so this is how you can find it that how you can work on this particular area uh, that which are mutable and which are immutable so uh, mutable and immutable when we say in a python that we uh, store a numeric values isn't it there are the three uh, numeric data type what are they they are integer they are the floating point number there is a complex number system so when we are talking about a number that means we find there are the different three types of number systems are there and uh, we are working on this particular number system clear yeah. so uh, this is the number system what you can find that each of this particular number system uh, will going to have a structure and will going to make the structure in such a way and in such a part that they are being implemented in this way clear yeah. so uh, this is the thing what we can find this is the part uh, that we can find uh, that when we are uh, working on it when we are making that particular uh, structures uh, these the particular structures that we are having okay these are the particular structures that uh, we are finding that uh, we are going to have uh, that we find it uh, that each of these particular structures will be implementing in this uh, way where we are having a pattern of a data type where we have a definite uh, certain pattern of a data type and we are working with this particular pattern of data type okay so as we are working on this particular pattern of data type and as we are seeing uh, the structures can be done in this way these are the particular structures that we are constructing you see this program what you can see in this particular program you see here that what it is given that a uh, a equals to 10 100 b equals to what b equals to minus 100 so uh, c equals to 1 into 20 that means what you can find that there are the different type of outputs are there and we are working so first output print a when it has been said in print a what you have seen it the output is 100 in uh, print uh, b then what it is said it is minus 100 print c what it has said uh, that there is 200 isn't it so there is the thing what you can find it that uh, this particular thing will going to work and we can find that how the particular work can be executed okay how you can make this particular executions and how we can work with this particular executions clear so this is the thing this is the part uh, that we find this is the part uh, this is the part uh, that we will going to have and we will going to uh, decide uh, that each of this particular part will going to uh, work on this particular uh, scenario and we can make this particular scenario in a content uh, that uh, they are been working with this particular structure.
okay so since they are been working with this particular structures means we have to see it that what the structures they are working with and how you can implement uh, those integer patterns so there i have talked about an integer pattern okay so different type of integer pattern of data types are there and data types what we can find integer floating and complex pattern of data types are there okay so this is what the first uh, point that i have discussed here this is an integer pattern of a data type clear we have this particular integer pattern of the data type now you can see uh, that uh, what the uh, data type we will going to have see here the uh, type conversations of the integer how you can write it int then function then conversation of the data type isn't it in function then conversation of the data type what we see it uh, that in this area in this particular area we are having this particular uh, pattern we are using this particular pattern so as we are using this particular pattern in this particular pattern what you can find it uh, that you have a different type of strings you have a different uh, uh, type of uh, particular work that we are working with it okay so as we are working with it uh, we will going to have in uh, this particular uh, string data type as that we have there isn't it uh, so there what we can find it uh, that uh, this is the thing you can see it here you can find it here that what are the uh, pattern of uh, conversations that we are doing what are the uh, pattern of work uh, that we are maintaining isn't it so uh, that the type c here what first i have given here a equals to within double inverted comma 101 that means it is a string uh, now b equals to int a that means this is a, a converse string data type uh, to an integer isn't it uh, that uh, what I am doing I am converting the string into an integer data type next what you can find it that next you have an integer uh, 122.4 so this is what another particular pattern of the data type and uh, this the pattern of the data type what we are having this the pattern of the data type uh, what we are working with it what we find it that all this particular pattern of the data type is been worked and is been accumulated in this particular area okay so uh, how we will work on it how we will make the particular thing to be workable clear so this is the thing what you can see this is the part that you can find that we have suppose a uh, print b okay print c so this is the run code that we are giving here as we are giving the run code what do we find that 101 122 so all these thing what you can find that we do have uh, this particular pattern of data type now floating point data type as i have said you that means it will consist of a decimal point number positive or negative it can be a positive data type it can be a negative data type real number uh, with a decimal point like see here 101.2 101 -1 minus 101.4 okay so 1011.23 uh, 2.3 into 3 so these are the things what you can find it that there you have a different types of floating point of data types and you are working with all these different floating points of the data type what is there so uh, those the different floating point of the data type they are what we can find that you have the uh, different type of uh, work and you are working on this particular area okay you are making this particular area you are uh, working on it now uh, type of conversions of the floating point number what we can find it uh, that a uh, floating function is there to convert the data type like uh, 301.4 is a uh, conversion data type okay so um, there we will going to have a float float a and uh, next what you will going to have a float uh, suppose 121 okay so 121 uh, what we will going to find uh, that each of this uh, particular structures what we are having uh, each of these particular structures that we are uh, giving here we can find it uh, that this is what converting string data into a floating point and this is converting uh, the integer data type into a floating point okay because why string data because you see here what i have written float a a means what a is a string so a uh, in a what is the value i have given within a single inverted comma 301.4 okay so 301.4 means what it is now treating as a string pattern of data type okay it is now treating as a string pattern of data type now this particular string pattern of data, data type what we will going to see here what we will going to find uh, that we will going to have the particular conversion and we will going to have this particular pattern of the data structures 
okay so we will going to have those data structures we will have this particular pattern of conversions uh, that we are doing and that we are making of it clear so uh, there we find it there we can see it that there are the different type of uh, uh, conversions uh, that we are using and we are converting that data into a certain frame or certain pattern that it will going to work on it okay it will going to work on it so this is what uh, we can find that how we can make those particular pattern of the data and how we can work on this data so complex data type what we can find it complex data type matter complex data type matter means a complex number is a combination of a real and imaginary part so there is some part which is real and some part which is imaginary like uh, suppose like x uh, plus y j so x is a real and y is an imaginary isn't it so see here that i have here one complex number 5 so as i have a complex number 5 i want to print it okay so when i want to print that particular one what we uh, find it that is complex 101 comma 23 is there so when we run the b what you find it see uh, 10 uh, 5 plus 0 j okay uh, next what you can find it that why this j is j is that it is showing that it is an imaginary number when you are running the particular code you are finding it uh, that there are the uh, imaginary number is working with it okay so this is an imaginary number that has been uh, given and based on this imaginary because complex i am writing here complex now you will ask me sir why uh, zero j is coming because as soon as i write the complex complex will going to have two part one is x part one is y part so x part value is given here five so five is printed here y part value is uh, not uh, given so since y part value is not given therefore what the value of the y has been given here zero j and see here uh, in this case what uh, so 0 is what 0 became some imaginary part now since here see here 101 is there and 23 is there isn't it 101 is there and 23 is there so uh, this is the particular uh, thing what you can see this is the particular thing that you can find it that uh, we will uh, going to have uh, the particular uh, structures and uh, we will going to work on this particular structures okay so uh, this is the particular structures that we are maintaining um, and we are maintaining those structures uh, as we are working on this particular area isn't it as we are working on this particular part so this is the thing what we can see this is the thing what we can find that we have those particular different pattern of structures and as we are having those different pattern of structures we are maintaining them and we are working on it okay so this is what uh, is your particular uh, pattern of uh, work and uh, different pattern of the number uh, that is there okay So uh, those the thing what you find those the part uh, that we find uh, that when we are having this uh, particular pattern of imaginary values when we are having this uh, particular pattern of imaginary values we will going to have our expression in this uh, particular way okay we are working our expression in this particular way so this is the thing what we can find that how you can work on this particular area okay so this is how you can work on that uh, particular scenario of your uh, number system and uh, how you can find it those are the different type of numbers that we are uh, i have discussed today and uh, different type of work that uh, we are working it here thank you students so next class i am going to discuss about uh, some other uh, patterns and other types okay thank you all